everybody hope your day's going well we are back with aesop rock and blockhead abandoned malls uh and blockhead is the producer right so uh this was a request by alex thank you so much for this request and donation let's jump into this one abandoned malls hey i watch some of those youtube videos of abandoned malls sometimes you know little tidbit of information that you can do absolutely nothing with it's not going to do anything to your life like an abandoned mall. Pars! Whoa. Okay. Discovered colors like a blue that really wasn't, but it wasn't any others. The synesthetic cousin to the hum of this discomfort. I've been a punching bag for some truly diluted garbage. Now his handshake is a unicorn, it's hug a moving target. Ooh. Dark days, see the spirit change for the square pigs. Or in his fave chair, sipping on bear mace. Tripping through his day mare, marathon and monster flicks. Zombie in the stale air, logging his Hayashi picks. I've been trying to teach a kid to Ollie. She got the basic motion and glow when she show her mommy. I get they want the house and winds of water cooler powder kegs. That shit that gets your saintly favorites ousted from the power grid. I know I know some shit about some shit. I guess that gotcha gossip simply isn't part of how I live. Oh, damn, man. This beat is hard. Let's go back a little bit here, man. Let's go back a little bit. I was staring back. off into the water, looking for some undiscovered colors, like a blue that really wasn't, but it wasn't any others. Oh, I like I staring off into the water, looking for some undiscovered colors. Uh, it's like almost being at distant, like um, being on autopilot, and you can't really see any color, you know, like like a blue that really wasn't, but it wasn't any others. Ooh. Yo, there's nothing there, really. Oof. Hey, man, there's many colors we haven't discovered as human beings because our eyes can only see so many, huh? Sometimes I would love to see how it, uh, how a bird sees the world. They got, they got more colors than us, man. Dang. Discovered colors like a blue that really wasn't, but it wasn't any others. The synesthetic cousin to the hum of this discomfort. I've been a punching bag for some truly diluted garbage. Now his handshake is a unicorn. It's hug a moving target. Mmm. Yeah, sound my man is a little bit down and out. You know, like the blues always stands out for, you know, for, you know, feeling blue, you know, feeling down. So sometimes colors are dull, but... And then synesthetic cousin. What, what, what is synesthetic? Yo, synesthetic. I can't even pronounce it. My man, yo, his vocab is, is insane. Uh, but I've been a punching bag for some truly deluded garbage, like uh, being uh, abused emotionally or even physically. But then his handshake is a unicorn. His hug is a moving target. Like it's elusive, you know, the love uh, just or a sign of respect or it's... It's elusive. It's not there. You know, uh, a handshake is a unicorn. So it's basically non-existent. His hug is a moving target. It's elusive. You can't get uh, a hug in dark days. Oh, I'm moving. I'm reading ahead here. The loaded garbage. Now his handshake is a unicorn. His hug a moving target. Dark days. See the spirit change for the square pigs. Mm. Or in his fave chair sipping on bear mace. Tripping through his day mare. Marathon and monster flicks. Zombie in the stale air, logging his Hayashi picks. Oof. You know, tripping through his day, man, instead of a nightmare. Like, a, your your nightmare is, almost, is now in your waking life as well. Like, it's just zombie mode, because he's talking about marathoning monster flicks. Zombie in the stale air. Like, almost walking through life on autopilot. Not really being bothered by anything just looking straight at you know straight ahead and living life but not really feeling anything being numb like he talked staring off into the water undiscovered colors this all connects almost uh not feeling any emotions no love nothing really um 
on his fave chair sipping on bear mace. Ugh. What's in that thing, bear mace? They got a spray. You know, I've seen that on, on documentaries, like bear spray. What's, what is it? What, what is in there? <laughs> Monster flicks, zombie in the stale air, logging this Hayashi picks. I've been trying to teach a kid to Ollie. She got the basic motion and glow when she show her mommy. I get they want the housing winds of water cooler powder kegs. That shit that gets your saintly favorites ousted from the power grid. I know I know some shit about some shit. I guess that gotcha gossip simply isn't part of how I live. Mm. I guess that gotcha gossip simply isn't part of how I live. Like, yeah, a lot of these, you know, nowadays is all about the gotcha journalism, the gotcha questions. And, you know, there's, oh, you know, trying to get you for something you said or asking you questions, putting you in a certain position so they get you to say some stuff and then, you know, get headlines or, or, or just, you know, screw with you a little bit. But that's not me because I know some shit about some shit. I want deeper stuff. I'm not for this shallow, superficial uh, BS, really. Uh, trying to teach your kid to Ollie. You know, Ollie, of course, a skateboarding move, but she got the basic motion and glow when she show her mommy. I get they want the house and winds of water cool. Yeah, like that water cooler talk, that small talk. I'm not, I'm not for that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak something about stuff that is more than that, that's deeper than that. That's what I get from it. Mm. All right. Yo, this man's insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's the hook, <laughs> yo, yo, uh, yeah, man. That is describing what I just said, like just being like, like this, you know, catatonic, really. Oh man, that makes me think of that movie, you know, um, Awakenings, Robert De Niro and Robin Williams. Oof. Yeah, you know, that's it, man. Just being like, if you're depressed, sometimes you're just like buffering, right? Dang. of a normal life yours and mine then of course it's normal see where paranormals normalized normal is a phantom force that levitates the forks and knives or otherworldly parasites that quarrel of a portion size the rhymes more and you could be the next unfriendly energy to organize ordering corpses into the chorus line best friends and deathbeds red sense and headwinds first one man who's ten men a bubble to the surface legendarily imperfect purging from a head that turns incessantly in circles it's concerning my psychic likes to focus on our orb and tell me how she sees me coming home to goldfish on the floor in perpetuity i've been sleeping in my armchair taking weird walks and speaking to folk who aren't there <laughs> oh, oh, let's go back to this video. yo he's again carrying on with that team team theme um of almost, you know, not of running on autopilot saying like the body spits out the spirit and carries on like, damn, damn. of a normal life doors in mind then of course it's normal see where paranormals normalized normal is a phantom board. oh man i gotta go back just to talk about these lines a little bit but then i'm gonna that rhymes you normal life normal lives forks and knives portion size organized chorus line oh yo that's fire man that's fire yeah, but, you know, to engineer some semblance of a normal life, yours and mine, then, of course, it's normal. See, uh, this is all being normal now, all this crazy stuff, you know. It, uh, 
paranormal is now normalized. You know, there's not... Ugh. Normal is a phantom force that levitates the forks and knives. It's almost... It, normal is not even... It's it's a phantom force. <laughs> Yo, this that's a fire song, man. Dang. Spirit out and carries on to engineer some semblance of a normal life. Yours and mine. Then, of course, it's normal. See, we're paranormals normalized. Normal is a phantom force that levitates the forks and knives. Of the world Parasites that quarrel over portion size. Yeah. If you're foreign, you could be the next unfriendly energy to organize. Ordering corpses into the chorus line. Ordering corpses into the chorus line. Which basically what he did. Skin cold to the touch, open eyes, no pulse, diagnosing fuck. Hey. But yeah, man, like, damn, this guy. Otherworldly parasites that quarrel over portion size, you know, you know about the land, for example. Oh, the, the you know expanding borders and territory, and uh, even in companies, just you know distributing shares or power or money and fuck, ugh, yo, fire stuff, man. The next unfriendly energy to organize, ordering corpses into the chorus line, you know, to make war and stuff. This unfriendly energy, you know. Um, yeah, this is basically going on in the world right now. Oh, dang. Ordering corpses into the chorus line. Best friends and deathbeds. Red scents and headwinds versus one man who's ten men. A Ugh. bubble to the surface, legendarily imperfect. Purging slurpy from a head that turns incessantly in circles. It's concerning. My psychic likes to focus on our orb and tell me how she sees me coming home to goldfish on the floor in perpetuity. I've been sleeping in my armchair, taking weird walks and speaking of folk who aren't there. Damn, he's speaking of folks who aren't there, man. And his psychic is basically his therapist, right? He talked about this in uh, in Shrink or Shrunk or what was that song again? And he talked about it a few times. My psychic likes to focus on a norb and tell me how she sees me coming. Ugh. They do like to do that. Man, best friends and death bets, red sense, that condensed rhyme scheme there, man. That's nice. Headwinds versus one man who's ten men. Mmm. Headwinds versus one man who's ten. What does that mean? Does he mean that he's... Uh, that's multiple voices in his head or something i don't know i bubble to the surface legendarily imperfect Ooh, surface imperfect purge and slurpy from a head that turns instant incessantly in circ incessantly who uses incessantly in a, in a rap song and purging slurpy <laughs> perpetuity oh i can't even do this guy this guy i thought this was about abandoned malls What's going on? Speaking of folk who aren't there. Do -do -do -do. Yo. That melody's gonna be in my head. To the touch. Eyes open, no pulse. Diagnosis in flux. Uh. Babylon, feel like abandoned malls overgrown with Spanish moss. Commotion, frozen time with no sign of your lamb of God. It's a land of the lost, scrambling for canned applause. Damn it, bit the bandage off, grant or panic if you must. Any way you manage it, the plan was always pick the cuffs eventually. Fixtures who were questionably prisoners and ventured out. Now we're never anything but visitors. Spent the winter sitting pretty on a slate of hell. I'll pay to look away if you need to forsake and save yourself. It's underneath what's underneath the dungeon. The layer of dysfunction that ain't for the weak of stomach. I freak an archaeology that reek of repercussion. If you need to pick some pieces up, come dig a hole to jump in. Light sleeper, I'm a fighter, I'm a feeder. Earth, wind, fire, water, ether. Earth, wind, fire, water, the elements, and then ether. He's spitting ether, yo. Great song, huh? <laughs> ether, man. Nas, come on. Um, let's go back here. Okay, now he mentioned something about abandoned malls. Eyes open, no pulse. No pulse. Eyes open. Man. 
imagine Babylon Feel like abandoned malls Overgrown with Spanish moss Commotion frozen time with no sign of your Lamb of God It's a land of the lost Scrambling for canned applause Damn it Ugh, Scrambling for canned applause Makes me think of uh, <laughs> Bernie Mac's joke Can you imagine sex in cans? Motherfuckers who be shoplifting and shit <laughs> R.I.P. Bernie Mac, man yeah, canned applause. They're scrambling for it. Ugh, for this superficial. Good for you. Good done, man. Yeah, you post a black square on Instagram. Yay! Give him a like. <laughs> Yo, but okay. The same alleys we used to imagine Babylon feeling like abandoned malls overgrown with Spanish moss. You know, Babylon is that, you know, the Babylonian Empire, the Babylon, but. Also biblical stuff because he's saying your Lamb of God. It's a land of there's no sign of your Lamb of God, meaning Jesus, right? There's no sign of him anymore. It's, this is a this is um this is a land of the lost. There's there's no uh spirituality here, there's nothing here, it's just um a bunch of corpses running around with nothing uh, with nothing in them. There's no substance to it anymore. There's no there's no God here. That's what he's saying. I don't know. It feels like abandoned malls overgrown with Spanish moss. Dang. Kind of kind of bleak. Kind of bleak, Mr. Rock. Mr. Aesop Rock. Kind of bleak stuff. Scrambling for canned applause. That's a fire. Lamb of God. It's a land to the lost. Scrambling for canned applause. Damn it, rip the bandage off. Rant or panic if you must. Any way you manage it, the plan was always pick the cuffs eventually. Fixture, so we're questionably prisoners and ventured out. Now we're never anything but visitors. Ugh. Yo. Yeah, man. Damn it. Rip the bandage off. Face your pain. Face it, man. Just face it. Rip it off. Like a band-aid. Rant or panic if you must. Any way you manage it, the plan was always to pick the cuffs. Eventually, fixtures to questionably prisoners and ventured out. Now we're anything but visitors. Some of this stuff, man, I'm going to have to think about that. You know, you, sometimes when I could explain it, if I really, really sat down here and thought about it and then, okay, maybe that's what he means, but we're pressed for time here <laughs> and I don't really edit my stuff. Don't like editing. <laughs> Yo, so if you got anything for those lines. Let me know. Let me know. We need some help out here. We need some help. Aesop Rock. By the end of his Aesop Rock reaction, my brain is always fried, yo. That's how you know you just listen to an Aesop song. Now we're never anything but visitors. Spent the winter sitting pretty on a slate of hell. I'll pay to look away if you need to forsake and save yourself. Mm. It's underneath what's underneath the dungeon. The light Oh, okay, okay, so slay to hell. It's okay to look away if you need to forsake. Sometimes you gotta be selfish uh, to really um, get better, man. Like, you know, if we go back to the beginning of the song, um, you know, it's like that airplane analogy I sometimes make. You gotta save yourself. Put the oxygen on yourself first before you go and save others because sometimes we have to look away uh, and take care of ourselves and, uh, you know, not think about other people sometimes be selfish a little bit it's okay put you to put yourself first sometime if you need to forsake save yourself man um dang okay underneath the dungeon the layer of dysfunction that ain't but a weak of stomach i freak an archaeology that reek of repercussion if you need to pick some pieces up come dig a hole to jump in light sleeper i'm a fighter i'm a feeder
Dang. Another great track by Aesop. And then the later parts again, uh, layer of dysfunction. And he always goes nuts in the third verse, man. The layer of dysfunction that ain't for the weak of stomach. I freak an archaeology that reek of repercussion. If you need to pick some pieces up, come dig a hole to jump and dig a hole for yourself. Pick up the pieces. Yeah, man. Pick a light sleeper. Hey, I'm a light sleeper. Fighter. Maybe. Feeder. Myself, really. <laughs> Earth, wind, fire, water, ether, man. He's adding an element to it. He always adds something to it, man. He's not just the basic elements. He's more than that. Let's go. All right, man. Abandoned malls. Uh, Aesop Rock. This is a... Uh, that melody is going to be in my head. Great. That beat. The beat had bars. As uh, script work would say. Anybody familiar with that channel? I used to watch him, you know, pre-pandemic. Uh, dang. Before I ever had a channel. Yeah, man. Awesome stuff. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks for being here, guys. Peace.